we're now to the lacquering stage of most of the parts on the um, on the chopper. As you can see, I've put down the first coat. If you have a good look at the wheels, see they're looking nice and glossy now that the first coat of lacquer went down um, on both of the wheels. Below you, you've got the two springs which go into the rear um, rear hub, uh, rear thingy off the sissy bar. Um, they're looking good, they've had one coat, so I've just flipped them upside down so they can have the second coat and make sure I coat both sides. And here is the ingenious contraption, which is my hangings, um, hanging hubs, uh, spokes with the nipples and things in them. Uh, so yeah, they're all looking, all looking good, nice and glossed. Just got to put on the second coat of primer, just to start with the wheels. What you just want to demonstrate with this is the way you use primer is, ex uh, sorry not primer, lacquer, is exactly the same way as you use your paint. So it's about having those, those thin strokes, those, those long controlled strokes, good distance away. If you get too close to it, then it clumps up. If it clumps up, that can actually eat through your paintwork. So I'll just show you what I'm doing. I'm just going to cover my mouth with this as well. And that's it. Simple and quick as that. That's all you need. Don't need to apply loads and loads and loads because, like I say, it'll clump up. Then we do the same on the other one. Now, if you come in close, you notice that as I've just done that, it looks a little bit mottled. Which is, which is right, basically, that's how it should look. It should look like that until it dries, and when it dries, it'll then dry to a nice gloss effect. The, um, the springs are dead easy to do, it's just a downwards motion. What I do is just spray each one. A few times over. That's moving around. So it's done, easy. And the final thing is the spokes. Now what I found was the one problem of this setup was that when I came around to spray the opposite side, obviously the dip in the paper meant that I didn't get the back of the spokes. So you just have to be careful that you're getting everything. Um, pretty easy though. Just making sure you run all the way along ones on one side. Then I look through. Get the ones on the other side. And then I'd recommend doing these from below as well. Just to ensure you've got good coverage on those nipples. And that is the wheels in their entirety complete. Um, what's that done? So what I need to do now is just leave that for at least two hours um, to, to, to stop dry um, before I even take them down. So this is hardened a bit. I've got lots of time so I, I can leave them for a bit longer, but yeah, at least two hours so they're nice and uh, touch dry. And I can take them upstairs into the warmer flat and there they will stay for approximately um, a week to 10 days um, whilst they harden fully before they're rebuilt. And then that will rebuild them next week. But other than that, that's the wheel's done. Job's a good one.